All right, this is the uh, Henry 410 Axe firearm. First shot. Oh, well, that was cool. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Guns and Guitars. And this is why you want a Henry Axe 410 firearm. <laughs> All right, so I got this gun from Henry to review way back in the summer, like right in the thick of the pandemic, right when all the ammo went scarce from the shelves. And just finding 410 birdshot was difficult, but I did find some and I was able to test it, but I didn't feel like I could post an adequate review video unless I could actually shoot some defensive style loads, because obviously you're not going bird hunting with a firearm like this. So here we are about nine months later, and I finally got my hands on some defensive loads. A whole case of it, in fact. This is Hornady Triple Defense, which is a 410 slug followed by two 35 caliber round balls. Now, because ammo is so scarce, I'm definitely not gonna shoot off all of it, but I do wanna make sure that it cycles it just fine, and I wanna see what it patterns like out of this thing. Of course, while I was waiting to find some ammo, I had a little bit of fun with this thing. It does not come from Henry with an M-Lock forend, okay? And in fact, no aftermarket manufacturer makes a forend for the Henry Axe. But I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. I figured out that the Henry 410 lever shotguns are based on the Henry 4570 action. So this Midwest Industries 4570 M-Lock rail actually fits on without any modifications. It fits like a glove too. It is rock solid, I'm really enjoying it. So next week, I'm gonna make a dedicated video on how to install this forend on your Henry Axe because that was information that I was dying to know when I first got it. And I couldn't even find information on how to remove the factory Henry forend. So next week, I'm gonna show you guys how to remove the forend and how to install this Midwest Industries M-Lock rail properly. But let's go ahead and test fire this triple defense ammo. 10, 15 yards away, definitely sort of a self-defense range. And we'll just see how this groups. It's right on with my bird shot, that's for sure. All right, so here I was aiming for right in the center of this red, and you can see one, two, three. So fairly good group right there. This one, I was aiming for the center, and one, two, three, right there. Here again, I was aiming for the center. One, two, three. Pretty good, pretty good grouping. Five more rounds, Hornady triple defense. Uh, fresh target, let's see how it patterns. Of course, I'm not going for sharpshooter status here with a shotgun. Sorry, not a shotgun, firearm. Not too bad. I was trying my best to aim on center, 15 yards away. Pattern's pretty good. I would actually say it probably patterns even better with birdshot. I mean, you can see the birdshot patterns that are on here. I mean, it's like a fist-sized birdshot, like right in the center. So, very tight pattern with birdshot. Similar type pattern, I'd say, with the defensive loads. I mean, if that was a man-sized target, you'd be dead on. Five more rounds of Hornady triple defense. All right, that's all of it. Well, that's not all of it. Let's load up five more rounds. Now I misspoke earlier and I accidentally called this a shotgun. This is not a shotgun. And you might be wondering what the difference is. I mean, it shoots shotgun shells. Uh, why isn't it a shotgun? Well, shotguns are limited to having a barrel of 18 inches or longer. Okay, anything under that has to be regulated through the National Firearms Act uh, and is considered a short barreled shotgun. Well, this one obviously has a barrel much shorter than 18 inches. And if you're watching this video 
chances are you already know how this is legal. But basically, if you meet an overall length requirement and you don't have certain features like a pistol grip or a buttstock, then you can get away with having a shorter barrel. In this case, 15 inches is what we have here. And as you can see, not a pistol grip, uh, not a buttstock. I'm not sure what this is, uh, but it's beautiful, made out of American walnut like most Henry rifles are. Um, and the forend that matched it, equally beautiful. I'll definitely get some B-roll of that as well. So, like I said at the beginning of my video, why would you want a Henry Axe 410 firearm? Well, I mean, if you haven't noticed, it just brings joy to my life. Now, obviously this would make a killer home defense weapon if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, also for me, you know, I live and travel in an RV full time, so it would make an excellent RV defense weapon, okay? It's much shorter, easier to manage in tight quarters like the hallway in a recreational vehicle for example and you know the ability to shoot birdshot so you're not over penetrating and you know as i've been demonstrating it's more than lethal enough coming out of a 15 inch barrel and uh, so very effective without over penetrating really good for self-defense home defense that sort of stuff uh, unfortunately for me you know i do so much traveling um, that some states are actually not super friendly for these firearms and so they've set up their own legislation to regulate these as well. California, for example, this would be considered a short-barreled shotgun. So, you Californians, I'm sorry, you don't get to enjoy this <laughs> the way we get to. But, I mean, is this thing just freaking cool or what? It's been ruggedly reliable, you know, perfectly accurate, uh, the fit and finish is just outstanding. You know, all the things you kind of have come to know about Henry. Henry makes very reliable, beautiful firearms. And typically they're meant for hunting. And while I have successfully hit clays with this thing, um, it's definitely not what it's meant for. So this is kind of, this kind of represents Henry getting more into the tactical market, which gets me very excited, okay? I love lever guns. And so the idea of Henry coming out with tactical lever guns. I know they've had their Model X series, um, but it's not anything like this. And uh, especially, you know, with the Midwest Industries rail, um, super cool, very cool. And I'm sort of getting to the end of my range time here, so I'm gonna quit blabbing and just enjoy this a little bit longer without depleting my entire ammo supply. Five more rounds of Hornady triple defense. All right, that's enough wasting the good self-defense ammo. Back to birdshot now. And I'm gonna see if I can throw and hit a target myself, like I was able to do with my Taurus Judge. If you haven't seen that video, definitely wanna check it out. Uh, but I don't have a whole lot of hope since I struggled to hit them when somebody else was uh, throwing them. Ah, I got it! I hope that was on camera, that was rad. Nope. Yeah, that was awesome. Nope. Got it, nicked it. It still counts. Oh, I have one shot left. Last shot of the day. Oh, I swear I shot right through that one. Okay, we're done. But like I said, if you're interested in seeing how to remove a Henry four end and install a Midwest Industries m -lock grip, stick around, that video is gonna be available next week. I'm Dan, this is Guns and Guitars, and I will see you in that next video.